The sooner we stop trying to be perfect, the more results we will see. Not just in our body, but in our mind. Not just in our mind, but in our business. Not just in our business, but in our relationships. We live in a world where social media will tell us how successful other people are. How successful their posts they put across are perceived to be. And working with multiple entrepreneurs all around the world earning seven figures and upwards, I've seen a lot of perfectionism come into play. A lot of perfectionism meaning people procrastinate because they look at the history, what they used to do, or what they do in their business when it comes to their health. They look at how they used to be an athlete in college, how they had all this time that they don't actually have now. And they think, I can't train five days a week. I can't eat exactly the same foods and eat that bland diet anymore. So what is the point? Because that's the way to get healthy, right? That is the way to drop that belly fat, to melt that computer belly, to get your energy up, to get unlimited vitality and feel awesome. But the problem is that all this perfectionism, this perfectionism stalls people in their tracks, stops them dead and makes them get worried. They think it's gonna be painful going to the gym beast mode in a workout, which is not the case. They think that it's gonna take away from their business. They think that their relationships are gonna suffer. They're not gonna have any time to do anything, which is not the case. In fact, when I see clients and we build up a routine specific to that individual, it adds to their day. It gives them energy by just getting going. You see, we have this certain motivation, we think, in order to start. But in fact, motivation isn't why we start. We have no motivation in reality. Starting gets us momentum, which gets us motivation. Seeing small changes gets us momentum. I was having a talk yesterday at WeWork in London. And one of the people there was selling some gym equipment. And I put out how I worked with my previous client, with my good friend, Rick Barker, and we dropped over 50 pounds in four or five months. If you don't know Rick, Rick is very well known in the music industry, a very busy guy. He was the guy who launched Taylor Swift's career. He was her first manager. He's currently managing Trent Harmon, who won American Idol, amongst a few other individuals, along with his music industry blueprint course. Now Rick got in touch with me. And yes, I got a little excited thinking, this is Taylor Swift's first manager. This guy's a big deal. I can really help him. And he said, Ollie, I'm so busy. I haven't got time to work out to go to the gym. But I know I need to. In reality, Rick had this perfectionist side to him. He thought he had to do all this stuff to be perfect. But I said to Rick, look, can you give me 10 minutes? Every single person has got 10 minutes. And he has a treadmill in his office at home. So I got him to send me a video. 10 minutes walking on the treadmill every day just to build up this habit. Now when I said this story in the actual talk yesterday, I also mentioned how another client had time watching Netflix and needed to bring that habit down. And I said, let's just get a walk in. Why don't you just watch Netflix whilst walking on the treadmill? And her argument was that, that it wasn't efficient. We want to have the most efficient workout. Yes, but what if that person hasn't got time to go to the gym? What if that person doesn't want to even be physically aware they're doing cardio? They want to be out, zoned out when they're doing their cardio. Well, in reality, watching Netflix on a treadmill can be so productive. Doing your emails on a treadmill, not sprinting, not running, can be so productive. Working your movement, your routine into your daily life 
can be very, very productive. This isn't about having the perfect workout. I would much rather give a client a good plan that I know they're gonna be able to follow, that will have ice cream in it, that will allow them to drink, to smoke some cigars, to enjoy life and be at an event that they're gonna get a lot of business from because we know when people go to masterminds, it's not the talks where you get clients. It's not the talks where you get the most important connections. It's the drinking session afterwards. It's the dinner session afterwards. It's the food, it's the enjoyment, it's the socialization where you get the clients, where you make the best connections. So I'd much rather give a client a good plan that gets a good amount of compliance rather than give them a perfect plan, which if they followed, it would get better results, but there's no chance in hell they were gonna follow it. This is about the most effective, not necessarily about the most efficient, if we want to use that lady's words. So stop trying to be perfectionism. Perfectionism, is that even a word? Stop trying to be a perfectionist when it comes to your health. Start trying to be a doer when it comes to your health. One small step at a time, after another, after another, equals some amazing results. If you wanna talk further about this, drop me a message. We can get on Facebook, have a chat, we can get on Skype, we can get onto Zoom, and we can have a good talk to see if there's anything I can do in order to make sure your health is no longer pushed to the side when it comes to growing your business and being the most amazing, most optimized person that you can be for your life.